All right, man, we're back with another episode of Pokemon Legends of the Arena, Lords of the Arena. I don't know, man. I don't even, I have no idea. I've never actually seen this game played before. Now I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Anyway, yeah, so today we're going to keep moving. This is going to be a really, really deep episode, okay? So hopefully uh, it goes well. Um, hopefully I can read in this episode. Uh, so yeah, we're, here we're going to meet some, like, friends of the family. Uh, really, all you need to know is that, yeah, this guy recognizes us. Do you know my dad? That's right, you're Big Ed's boy, aren't you? Yep, that's me. Man, your dad did good things for the swamp. Without him, it would have been sold years ago. He loved his home, that's for sure. Yeah, don't you worry, I'll ca carry on his legacy. Won't let any of these corporate suits get their hands on it. So, uh, you know, the only reason I even included this is because it shows that our father is dead. Which is obviously a, a sad deal. I, I assume there's a lot more to this story than meets the eye because in this episode we're I mean first of all let's recap a little bit here I feel almost irrevocably so that the family situation I'm in is not a legitimate one like there's something weird about our brother uh, and there's definitely something weird about my chick you know what I mean she's acting mad weird right now I don't even care if she's cute but I don't know it's just seems a little seems a little sketchy you know what I mean so uh, here you're going to fight trainers that just immediately lose as soon as you battle them. So that's pretty cool. I'll show that off a bit. Uh, it's actually really useful. And then you're going to run into Grimers, which don't immediately um, get edited out. I mean, uh, they don't immediately lose. So here now we're looking for uh, Max Repel, which I just hovered over, but I decided not to use that one. We're going to use that one instead. And here's five energy roots, guys, which is really great. I mean, a great, great addition. <laughs> But anyway, this swamp is meant to be our homeland, okay? It's like the pallet town for us. Uh, we'll explain all about um, why I'm still running into mobs here shortly. No, I'm just kidding, but yeah, we'll explain all about what's going on here uh, when we get to the town. But once again, you'll see here, watch this. See, it just, it's really weird. It's just immediately, as soon as you battle them, they, they just forfeit. It's like the event stops firing, actually. Um, so this is kind of, it's not really a maze, but... There's a bunch of different ways you can go, and a bunch of people with umbrellas uh, for some reason. This is not Resident Evil. You don't need umbrellas. <laughs> it's funny, right? It's a really, really good joke. But yeah, so now we're, we're walking across that bridge there, and we run into another muck. So it's a little bit interesting. I don't know how I feel about running into another muck, but it, it is going to happen. So there's really... Oh, look at that. So yeah, we do get some flashbacks, and that was Max saying, Come on, Metro, let's go. So it kind of just take, takes me by surprise when I was playing it. That's why I kind of stopped there. Now, I thought this was going to be a trainer battle. Watch this. I take some time. It's like, all right, guys, where are my Pokemon team at? All right, we're going to go with Muck, for, Muck first. He's only 44. Oh, JK. It's not a trainer battle. I don't know what they even are, but I don't. I don't. I guess I don't talk to them. So that's a dead end there. Don't go that way, guys. But, yeah, either way, we do get to meet our mother, uh, who, in my opinion, is a really well-written character. Uh, we learn a little bit more about the family situation, but like I said, I really, well, maybe, maybe the, pa the past, yeah. Come on, we're going to be late, says young Max, but, um, I feel like the past may be, you know, the past is written. The ink is dry. Did you guys see that? But anyway, yeah, so here's, uh, the brother of said, uh, surf guy, and I, I thought I was trying to, like, I don't know, the in one of the games, if you, like, get in between him and who he's chasing you can get him to talk to you so i thought that's what i was trying to do um which i've just done like so now the bird is chasing him right <laughs> like surely you don't need to chase the bird anymore so i reset it so he's chasing the bird again but anyway yeah that's let's go come on why am i why do i anyway all right so now we're gonna go to the real part and this is easily the most important story stuff that's ever come up here's a pretty good little nod here He's like, years ago, a professor gave me a Pokemon. I should have went on a, a, a life-changing journey, but I was too lazy. So that's pretty good. That's That'd be me. If I got a Pokemon, we would just sit here and play games. I'd have, I'd, Squirtle, go get me a drink. i choose you, you know? That'd be good. And that's all I would use it for. We would just kind of sit there. Squirtle, Squirtle, Squirt. And then i get a Diglett. All right, so here's a flashback. <clears throat> Metro Max, is that you? I love the music as well. Turn it up. Hey, Mom. I don't know if who's in it. Where on earth have you been? We were. Metro, you said you wouldn't tell. 
Metro, you tell me where you were right now. We were out by the swamp. Oh man, you suck at keeping secrets. Metro, what were you doing out there? You know it's not safe. We wanted to go see Dad at work. Max said he knew a safe way. Max, that was very irresponsible of you. What? Dewey said we'd be okay if we stuck close to the water. We're sorry, Mom. We didn't mean to... I didn't mean to... Oh, Metro, it's okay. I'm just glad both of you are safe. Now go wash up. Your father will be home soon. Flash! I'm home! That's a weird way to... Dad! Well, Max, aren't you gonna say hi to your father? That was your mother. Hey, Dad. So you see, it's already a little awkward, right? Are you gonna talk to them? Sure, kids, come here. Now, your mother told me about your little adventure. Can you tell me whose idea it was? Max said he knew how to get through the swamp. But Metro chickened out. He said he was too dangerous. Your brother was right, Max. The swamp is very dangerous. Too dangerous to travel through on your own. Yeah, there's wild grass. How would you? You couldn't. Which is why I've decided to do this. And there's the Eevee. Hey, a Pokemon. So, yeah, this is the Eevee that I use, the player character. That's an Eevee, you know. Of course. Are you fucking serious? He knows it's an Eevee, dude. One of my co-workers just bred their Pokemon and was giving away the babies. That sounds really funny, actually. If Oh, man, imagine doing that IRL. That'd be awesome. Metro, I want you to have that Eevee. Really cool. Cool. Yeah, it's cool. Oh, Edward, don't you think they're too young? Nonsense. I had a Pokemon when I was at their age. It's time they learned some responsibility. Now, you make sure you take care of it, Metro. It's a Pokemon, not a toy. That's debatable. Like Team Rocket, you know? I will. Thanks, Dad. So, Dad, where's my Pokemon? Hmm. Ah, uh, yes. Instead of a Pokemon, Max, I want you to have this. What's this? A Pokeball? Yes, I want you to learn what it's like to earn something in your life. Damn. That's cold-hearted, man. But, yeah. I want you to go out into the swamp by our house and catch your first Pokemon. Your brother can go with you to help. Edward, why didn't you tell me about this? That's just not fair. What? I don't see how it isn't fair. That business earlier was his idea, wasn't it? We can't not punish him. It's true. You always do this. You always take Metro's side. Max, please... Oh, that was his mother. No, Mary, he needs to learn. See, there's no, like... He needs to learn what it's like to have some responsibility in his life. That's true. I hate you! So it's already a strained relationship. Max, come back here. Come back here now! There's only... You will listen to your father, Max! Oh, so a little aggression at the end there, huh? Hey, Mom. Metro, is that really you? Yeah, I was in the area, and I thought I'd swing by. Oh, that's just wonderful. Go ahead and take a seat. Will your brother be joining us, too? Actually, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. I see. Go on, take a seat. I'll make us some tea. Ooh, tea. Has this place always been this small? Oh, yes. You just outgrew it. I still remember when your father moved us here. You two seem so upset to be living in such a remote place, but he really did know best. He really did. Oh, I miss him so much these days. 
So, wait, what the fuck? So, have you been watching me on the television? I don't know. I have. It's extraordinary. My little boy's up on the big screen, the whole world watching. It's a small world, that's for sure. I'm so proud. Did you see Max's last match? Yeah, the one where Arno beat him without even recognizing he beat him. Yeah, that was good. I did. The guy who beat him seemed like a tool. It was unfortunate, wasn't it? Putting you two up against each other like that. Where is he now, then? Yeah, it seems a little bit too much of a coincidence. I don't know. I have a theory that we're going to talk about after all this. He took the defeat pretty hard, Mom. You know what he's like. I haven't seen him since Ironside Village. Oh, dear. But he sent me an email the other day telling him to meet me here. Really? I'm afraid of what he might say. I don't think he's in a good place. What should I do? I can't tell you that, Metro. It was your choice to move away with your brother. The two of you were so excited to be going on an adventure together. He wants what's best for you, and you want what's best for him. That's true. Even if you don't know it yet. So I'm sure you two will work it out. But please, Metro, try not to hurt him. I wouldn't. Would I? I don't know. I'm not sure if I can help you any further. Just know that you'll always have my support, both of you. Thanks, Mom. Oh, look, you finished your tea. Would you like another? She's not having any. No, thanks. I gotta go. Okay, good luck, and promise you'll come back soon. I will, Mom. I love you. I love you too, dear. Okay, you can move now. There we go. All right. So now I go upstairs and show that this, there's only one bed here. So I don't know where one of us slept. And I assume it was me who was sleeping up here, right? Because in my box, as you see, I access my PC. And I could take a potion out, which is pretty cool. a pretty cool little nod, right? I like that. But anyway, yeah, there's there's only one bed up here. So <laughs> I guess maybe, we, uh, maybe there was two beds at one point. I don't know. But either way, so let's talk a little bit about my theory. My theory is that the father was like... In some way related to the shadow stuff um and then you know now max is finding it as well but it's kind of like the so this is pretty funny right stop you can only get past if you know the password i said is it get the hell out of the way and he's like sorry and he moves ha <laughs> it's pretty funny but anyway i am definitely of the mindset that like the family split right like the father is some way corrupted as you saw that little bit of aggression that was enough to hint at that and then now Max is falling to the corruption as well. And that, like, shadow dude is somehow related to it. But, hey, brother. Wait, Max, I don't want to... So, yeah, he says something in Japanese there when we fight. So, this is actually a pretty tough battle. This Feraligator is really a really tough Pokemon. I really had no trouble beating, well, Arno had no trouble beating him last time we fought, but this time it's gonna be a little bit different. So let's see here, let's see how this goes. I'm not 100% sure how it's gonna go, to be honest. I think uh, I think we, we do win, though, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we gotta win, there's only like four minutes left to the recording. Anyway, so Waterfall does a lot of damage. Once again, you know, just a massive weakness to water. I probably was thinking this when I fought the Feraligator, honestly, it's like, oh, here we go again, massive weakness to water, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Abomasnow is probably going to come up here and finish it up. Let's see. Uh, Max Potion. Not what I'm looking for there, honestly. It's pretty shitty. Cut does probably... No, wow. It does nothing. Holy shit. All right. Yeah, this is going to be a tough one, man. So we got to spore him. We got to spore him. We got to play a little bit more defensively. Uh, what else? Cut? Just go right for cut? That's fine. I would probably have recovered there. You know, obviously, he's going to be asleep for at least one turn. And then the max potion, so definitely could have used to recover. But at this point, I'm probably just a bit flustered. 
because we just I just spent like a, a full day wiping to the water guy to the fisherman oh there we go good crit good luck there good luck there all right so that's it learn blizzard nope obviously I'm only using the moves that I already have there's no if ands or buts about that I even gave like strength and you know the moves that I was gonna need to the the team uh, so there you go time to do what did I use dragon dance that seems pretty silly. Rapidash is really weak. I probably could have one-shot it with Aqua Tail. Or Waterfall or whatever. Not using Aqua Tail. Alright, so yeah, let's go. Come on, Gyarados. Hit him up. There you go. Watch this. It's going to one-shot him for sure. I did definitely... Well, maybe I did. That was pretty... Progressed pretty slowly. I don't know. Maybe I did. Maybe I did not. I'm not sure. But Muck is next. Waterfall is going to do a lot of damage. Ice Punch is not going to do a lot of damage. But Poison Touch actually gets the poison off him and then he heals a little bit with black sludge or whatever that sucks man that ruins that <laughs> that little heal there was all he needed yeah black sludge op all right so there you go medi come on zenny heads that's it man that's it for that and uh max is going down like the titanic guys that's all there is to say really i keep out uh, metacham which probably wasn't the best idea but swallow doesn't actually use a damaging flying move when he's got toxic orb Endeavor, yeah, I mean, that's just not <laughs> not really the play right there, guys. Power Trick, no, obviously not. We just discussed this, guys. We just discussed this. Roserade. Zenny Heads, one shot. Watch this. Easy. Freaking easy game, man. You guys said this game was hard, too. It's funny. All right, so there you go. So we beat Max, who is definitely acting a little strange. Max, please. Please don't go. Max, Max, Max. Yeah, he's gone. Anyway, so flora and fauna, chapter six. So we're really flying through the chapters. Are you sure you can't stay for a little bit longer? Sorry, mom. I have to go. Oh, I understand. It's just that I've missed you so much. I missed you too, mom. By the way, did you manage to see Max? I never asked. No, he didn't show up. I don't know where he is. Okay. Now make sure you take care of yourself. Remember to wear a jacket in cold weather and never lend anyone else your Pokemon. They might steal them. <laughs> uh-huh. And remember, I love you dearly. I love you too, Mom. Goodbye. Be safe. I should go see the sea captain before I leave. I'm checking. I'm going to go heal my Pokemon. So yeah, that's going to be it, guys. We are going to get Surf from the Sea Captain, and uh, the episode is going to end. So I'm going to let that play. Um, thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, let me know. Otherwise, only three more episodes after this one, and that's going to be it for the series, man. Next up is definitely going to be we got to get Rejuve in before the anniversary, all right? So thanks for watching. See you guys in the next episode.